Hi everyone, I'm Darren, and today I'd like to quickly run through those items that I have available from an electrical engineering aspect to get this project completed. I have a variety of equipment here at the house, I have access to additional equipment, and I have a few reference books on hand. What you see here today are those items that I think have the highest probability of being utilized during the build. First I'll go over the diagnostic equipment I have here at the house. In front of you is the Tektronix 7834 storage oscilloscope. We'll use the oscilloscope to look at our analog signals. Along the y-axis we can read voltage. Along the x-axis we can read time. This particular oscilloscope has two amplifier modules. One is a dual channel 200 megahertz bandwidth module. The other is a single channel 250 megahertz bandwidth module. This oscilloscope also has two time-based modules, um, both of which have slightly different features. Next to the oscilloscope, we have our meter LDC-823S digital counter. The digital counter is right behind the red digital multimeter. We'll be using the digital counter to make high precision frequency measurements. In front of the counter we have an ANOVA model 3320 digital multimeter and I'll be using the multimeter to make just regular DC measurements, um, some resistance measurements. Um, I may even use it just to test a few lines here and there prior to using with some of the other equipment. I honestly don't care if this digital multimeter gets destroyed, but if I lost any of the other equipment, that would be disastrous. Next to the digital multimeter, we have an analog multimeter. This is a triplet model 630NA multimeter. Uh, it's the oldest piece of equipment I have. It was probably made in the 1950s, 1960s. As a member of the Dallas Makerspace, I have access to additional diagnostic equipment. The Dallas Makerspace has an electronics lab that's pretty well stocked. The equipment that I think I'll use would be a Science Tech LCR meter. This will allow me to make inductance and capacitance measurements. A Science Tech ESR meter. Um, this will allow us to make equivalent series resistance measurements. And finally, they have a few Regal digital oscilloscopes. Uh, the digital oscilloscopes um, can perform a few tricks that our older analog oscilloscopes cannot do. Next I'd like to go over the sourcing and transmitting equipment I have here at the house. In front of you is an LG model FG8002 function generator that's right below the frequency counter. We'll be using the function generator to generate um, signals in the same frequency range that we would expect to see out of a Lionel um, ECU-1 transmitter. Over here in the background in green we see three Hewlett Packard DC power supplies. Two of them are models 6214A's. One is a model 6218A. And finally in front of the DC power supply we have two pieces of Lionel equipment. One is a Lionel ZW 250 watt transformer, and next to that is the Lionel ECU-1 transmitter. Eventually, the ECU-1 transmitter will be part of the project, assuming it actually works. The final piece of equipment I have here at the house are Lionel type RU receivers. And I have one example right there on top of the electronic ECU-1. I got a few of these on eBay and we'll be using these to figure out exactly how the Lionel electronic train set worked. Lastly we have the reference books that I'll be using during the build. The first and most important one is the complete service manual for Lionel trains. This is my bible for how Lionel trains work. Uh, you can see I've already marked off many pages that I expect to reference during the build. After that we have two books on electronics for non-electrical engineering students. Uh, the top one is the book that I used um, as a physics student in college. The bottom is the ever popular Art of Electronics by Horowitz and Hill. And finally, and hopefully we don't need these, are uh, two books on physics 
Uh, should there be need to build custom coils and inductors, I will likely reference both these books. Um, the top one is the uh, more popular Haldane Resnick. The bottom is the Physics for Students by Stanford and Tanner. So that pretty much covers all the electrical engineering related resources that I think we'll need for the build. I'll list all of them in the notes below. Should we add any in the future, I will update the notes um, as appropriate. I likely will not go back and edit this video.